Some high schools have beginning choirs who are brand new to choral music. Today we're going to talk about solfege and the benefits of hand signs and daily sight reading in the choral classroom. If you have a group of beginners who do not have prior knowledge, here's a quick way to build your future leaders. Sight singing made accessible, readable, teachable, smart, volume one, by Denise Eaton, is a fabulous book that enhances literacy with beginners and advanced students. Many of us use movable dough, generally starting in the key of C and quickly moving to the key of F and G as we start to teach our students the value of solfege. Here, you will see a beginning treble choir comprised of mainly freshmen. For many, this is their first time in choir. They've been singing in unison and two parts and are graduating to singing confidently in SSA. I'm still kind of struggling with it, but it's like getting easier as we go. Doing hand signs helps me because then you can know like which direction the pitch goes, if it goes like down or up. We stayed in unison at the beginning of the year, and now we're doing the three parts. Very early in the school year, we introduced treble and bass clef, as well as note names for lines and spaces and basic rhythmic values and time signatures. This is very beneficial in our daily sight reading. In this example, you can see we chose the key of F, it is a very simple melodic pattern in stepwise unison. I've left the solfege indicators in the first example and try to quickly take away those indicators in the very first week of sight reading stepwise examples that are in the key of F, G, and C. We want them to sight read independently as possible and as quickly as possible. As we move through our school year, we begin to add stepwise two-part motion. This is very important in our beginning choirs, especially those who have not had any additional training in vocal music. This will help them in developing their ear as well as enhancing their sight reading skills. After moving from stepwise motion, we move into our skips. We use our pitch ladder of do mi so mi do so do and the one chord as our basis for ear training and for enhancing their experience as new sight readers. Here you will see the girls signing to themselves and working through their lines independently. They have not heard this song and will be using tonal memory based on their knowledge of steps and skips in the major scale. Each section is reading a different line in SSA with approximately four to five girls per part. Beginning ready chant. the pitch slider. Here we go. Stand up nice and tall. Here we go. Beautiful. Hand placement in the right spots. Ready? And you'll notice they're lip and leveling. They're doing this so that way they can go ahead and round out those vowels. Okay? So we've got altos here. Seconds. And sopranos. One. Two. Audiate. With sight reading, anything is possible. These girls are driven and are trying incredibly hard to develop a sense of pitch and harmonic purpose through their practice. In keeping with true sight reading study, as they sing through this first performance, they sing as beginning language readers would read. Sometimes it's a little stilted and you can hear discrepancies of pitch and rhythmic values. They progress and improve as we push them through continued daily practice. <laughs> Thank you for making it so just beautiful and smooth and sweet. Y'all are awesome. Here we go. Altos, go. One, two, don't rush. Here you go. One, 